Hey guys, back again. Yeah, it's one after another, after another, after another, just so I can, I don't want to put them all into one video. It takes forever. So I figured I'd do it in like four videos, so uh, I gotta get caught up on this stuff. So anyway, this should be my last one for a while. I got a bunch of stuff coming in, so I'll probably do some more, uh, who knows, maybe this weekend, maybe the following weekend, but anyway, here's my last stack of albums. And all these are from, uh, I believe most of these are from either Discogs or uh, Special Orders Overseas and uh, The Vinyl Giant. Anyway, first up, uh, I believe this came out in 69, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, a band called The Illusion. And uh, together as a way of life. Lucy Hard Rock, maybe a little psych. Ball this for a decent price. Covers in really good shape. Vinyl's in good shape, just needs to be clean. And then uh, I'd never see this band's material except last. What was it, Friday or Saturday? Yeah, when I went to Park on Saturday. I went in and I seen a bunch of this stuff, but it was like 20 bucks for used stuff and I didn't want to pay that much. But this one I bought way before that and I'm talking about some Marillion and uh, Misplaced Childhood from 1985, some uh, Pro Rock. Bands have been around a long, long time. And uh, they are still putting out albums today. So uh, check them out. A band called Marillion. And uh, I did not have this. When I seen this, I thought it was uh, a U.S. release. It is not. It is a Canadian release of the greatest hits on Aquarius Records. Probably more uh, highly sought after than uh, U.S. counterparts, of course. As you can see on the Aquarius label. I mean, the vinyl is in absolute mint condition. And uh, so, I'm only missing a couple. I think I'm missing Stand Up. And I think the first one. But uh, anyway, greatest hits. 1979. Of course, it has uh, rock and roll is a vicious game, roller. Uh, anyway, those are the two most, probably most recognizable songs. Uh, but anyway, it's a leap of wine. And then I'm um, finally filling up this band's catalog. This is a absolute great cover. You know it's a cutout. Wishbone Ash locked in from 1976 on the Atlantic Records label. Of course, this has uh, let's see here. Uh, Andy Powell, of course. Andy Powell, Susie Quattro, and um, Guitars from Sweet put out an album last year, a three piece, which was a great album. I can't think of the guy's name, but. Uh, if you ever check, I can't remember even the CDs, but uh, anyway, uh, Love Wish Won Ash. This is a great release as well. Still looking for a pilgrimage. And, uh, but anyway, Wish Won Ash. And then uh, this I seen there, eight bucks. Had to get it. Some metal meltdown. Some k -tel. Put out 1988, of course it has uh, on here uh, Anthrax, Scorpion, Striper, Except, Wasp, Judas Priest, Lizzie Borden, Dio, Vinnie Vincent, and Exodus. I like these comps. Definitely shows how early some of these people are on, or the bands are on this. And this was a uh, Discogs buy, as the other Nazareth was. I did not have this. Nazareth Exercises. 
1972, I believe this is right after uh, the Nazareth came out. Missing a few on vinyl, a lot of the, I'm uh, missing uh, Boogaloo on vinyl, very pricey. Uh, there's a couple others I'm missing, I can't, I think Snakes and Ladders I'm missing on vinyl. But I do have everything else on CD, so anyway, Nazareth. And some flash in the can. You see, this was from. Again, I don't see a year on here. Maybe I look at here once. 72. It's a flash. Hard, bluesy hard rock. Not to be misconstrued with Flash and Pan, definitely not the same, but this is Pan Flash. So check them out. And uh, let's see here. These are from uh, Discogs. These are some albums I bought as part of a going out of business sale. One of the uh, sellers is doing on Discogs, so I picked up some stuff fairly cheap. Some of it was make an offer. This is one of them, a band called Blood Sister. And uh, kind of punkish. I think this is from uh, 1980, 1989. This came out. And it is on, uh, let's see what label it is. It's on the 109 record. Here's some blood system. And uh, I've seen this album before, go for a lot of money. Um, I made an offer, I think I got it for 12 bucks. I think he was asking 22. So I picked this up. He uh, took the offer, and I'm talking about a band called Sassafras and Expecting Company. And this was from. This is from 1975, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check here. 1973, excuse me. It's on the Polydor label. Some more British hard rock. And called Sassafras. Then I picked up another album from this group out of New York called the New York Rock Ensemble and their album called Roll Over. I think they only put out two albums, if I'm not mistaken. It might be three, but I'm pretty sure it's only two. Uh, this was released, I believe, in 1975. Anyway, it's on the Capitol Records label. Yeah, I don't see a year. Anyway, a band called the New York Rock Ensemble and their album called Roll Over. And this is a brand new release from uh, these guys, I believe, are out of Greece. They play epic heavy metal. Uh, I think this is their first album in like eight years. And a fantastic album if you're into epic metal. A uh, band is called Battle Roar. And it's called the Codex Epicus. Definitely a great album from these guys. This is a gatefold edition. Again, epic metal just released on the Cruz del Sur a music label from 2018. So battle roar. And I pre-ordered this back in, I believe, 
November of last year because I knew it was coming out in 2018 on vinyl and uh, they sent me an email stating that there was going to be a delay in the vinyl pressings and that probably won't be out until early spring. Well, I just assumed I wasn't going to get it. But lo and behold, about three weeks ago it came, the brand new Lechery. And uh, we all, we are all born evil. Limited to 200 copies. I got number 73. I believe this is their fourth release. Might be their first one on vinyl. It's on uh, Bleeding Music Records. Band called Lechery. And then, uh, this is a re release. The original goes for absolutely phenomenal amounts of money. The band is called Christmas. And the album is called Heritage. Guys are out of Canada. They have a couple releases out. But uh, I think this was re released. Originally came out in 1970 on the Daffodil record label. Same with the other one. The other one is very hard to come by, especially in original. And um, of course, you get the liner notes. Uh, I think somebody was asking me about this, and I forgot to mention it is a re-release. I think uh, the originals go for like 200 bucks. I'm not gonna pay 200 bucks. Re-release is just fine. Definitely, I think it's a 200 gram vinyl as well. So not a decent price, or a decent price, I should say. I think it paid 25 for it. Uh, the other one has not been released. I think re-release yet. And then uh, the second one from this band I showed, I think, in a previous update, if I'm not mistaken. A band called Silverhead. Some uh, glam rock from Great Britain. And uh, this is called Sixteen and Savage. I'm not sure if you can see this. Michael DeBar, of course, if you're not familiar with him. He went on to play with Detective, and he also was uh, MacGyver's nemesis in the original MacGyver uh, series in the 70s. He's still around today, but uh, anyway, uh, I finally picked up both of these silver heads, and uh, good stuff here if you haven't checked it out. So anyway, finally up to date, guys. Hope you enjoy all these. Uh, if you got any comments, leave them below. And, uh, comment section and I'll see you next time on